So another variation of this process, all the problems are a little bit different. They have different uh, idiosyncrasies of what, what cancels and what doesn't. So we start starting off with zero. Step zero factor the denominator, it's done for us. It's in factored form, there's no factoring to do. Point of discontinuity, you would set x plus four equal to zero and solve and you get x can't be negative four. Negative four would cause this to be zero and I can't divide by zero. So I've got to determine what type of uh, point of discontinuity it is. If it's a whole or vertical asymptote, it's one or the other, not both. So one of those is going to disappear on the right-hand side. So I say that I have to factor the numerator to do that next step. So I look at the numerator and I use the magic X. And up on the top of the magic X, you've got your 20 times 1, which is 20. And then 9 on the bottom. And so I'm going to work with 4 and 5. Those are my magic numbers, and that can be my magic factors because there's a, a 1 here, so I don't have to do the grouping process. So it's going to turn out to be x plus 4 times x plus 5. And the bottom is x plus 4. And hopefully your eyes very quickly see x plus 4 is on the top and the bottom, which is the next step. I need to reduce that function by any vertical factor that's over top of itself, you divide, anything divided by itself is 1. So reducing the function will turn out to be just x plus 5, a linear function. But that linear function has a point of discontinuity. That just canceled out, so that point of discontinuity is specifically called a whole. This problem, therefore, has no vertical asymptote. So I come over here to the right, cross out my vertical asymptote. I just have a whole. The whole is at the coordinate negative 4 comma, ooh, I don't know yet. So we've got to make sure it's actually a coordinate. We did say, yes, it's a whole, but we need to know where the hole is. So to find the hole, you've got to do that next step to say negative 4 comma what. And the what here is f of negative 4, specifically the reduced version of your f of negative 4. Because if you plugged it back in the original function, it would just produce an undefined result. So we don't want that. What we want to do is take it over here and plug it into this reduced version, which is negative 4 plus 5. Very easily spits out a 1. So my hole is at the coordinate negative 4 comma 1. So negative 4 comma 1 is what we throw over there in that bottom right hand corner for my hole. And then we continue down the list. So our job is to set now the remaining numerator equal to zero and solve. And a lot of students look at x plus five and say, well, there is no numerator, there's no fraction left. Well, everything's always over one. So this is the numerator I'm talking about. So you set x plus five equal to zero, and then you solve that. x equals negative five is the result, and that is my x-intercept location. So I put that over here in the box. It's specifically the coordinate negative five comma zero. And now we do step five. To do step five, f of zero, we're talking specifically about going to that reduced version. So f of zero is going to look like zero plus five, which is five. So my y-intercept should be zero comma five. Last thing we have to consider is the horizontal asymptote. And so from the beginning or at the reduced version, it doesn't matter where you look every time. The top is a 2, the bottom is a 1, the degree of the top is bigger than the degree of the bottom, and that case is always no horizontal asymptote. So I go ahead and cross that out because this graph will end up looking like a line with a hole in it, and no horizontal asymptote is the end behavior result.